Good day YouTubers, Mitch here from the LiveWire tech team again. Today, uh, just to jump into the HiLink app a little bit more and show you guys around. It is a very, very simple, easy to use app that will help you check and change a lot of your router or your MiFi settings. Thought it was very worth breaking it a little bit apart for you, showing you around and for those of you folks who get stuck uh, with changing some of the features, you'll be able to take a look at the app and hopefully it helps you customize some of those settings for yourselves. So just to explain our setup today so you know where we are, uh, I've got the Highlink app pre-installed on my mobile phone. I've got an E5573 mobile uh, MiFi device, the SIM card is in it, it's turned on and I've connected from my mobile phone uh, through the Wi-Fi settings of the phone to this mobile Wi-Fi device. So we're all good to go. I've logged in, I've gone through the setup process and uh, we're on the home screen of the device. This is the first screen you see once you've completed all the setup stages of the Highlink app. You've got your data usage in the middle. You've got how many devices are logged onto the mobile Wi-Fi uh, towards the bottom of the screen. You've got a very short menu in the top left hand corner. This really just tells you about the Highlink product, uh, its licenses, not too much of interest there for your everyday use. You've got a tools tab towards the top. It lets you know the battery percentage in case your MiFi device is located in a different room uh, and is unplugged. Uh, you can always tell how much uh, sort of battery life you've got on that home screen. It also tells you what your mobile reception strength is like and then of course it's got your network service provider indicator there for you as well. Uh, the other little setting is in the top right hand corner, symbol of a little blue cog and that just takes us more into the background setup of your device and we'll jump into that a little bit towards the end. First of all, let's just talk about the home screen. The main feature on the screen is obviously your data usage. Uh, that tells you how much you've used to date. You can really customize that for yourself all depending on your service provider and your data plan. You can do that by tapping on that speedometer-like image. That'll take you to a back screen. And if you click on settings, it will give you a slider which you can turn on a, uh, a monthly data plan. I'm not going to do it in this particular instance um, as it'll take a lot of customizing and setting up. But if you do turn the slider on, it'll give you four to five extra um, options where you can then customize exactly how much data you wanna use um, every month or over a particular period. And then the application will notify you once you are getting near your limit, once you've reached your limit, uh, and of course you can then take it from there. So you can really manage your data usage quite carefully when you're on the go. Uh, very important, I think, especially for those who are conscious about how much data you use. And of course, if you're on a budget and you wanna to stick to that budget, uh, it's a very cool tool to use. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that back off and go back to our home screen. Um, from that screen, if we go to our tools tab at the top, just next to the device tab, with the 5573 device, it brings up uh, six different icons. Again, this may change depending on what device you're connected to. So if I'm connected to, hypothetically, a B525 router, it might only bring up three or four icons, uh, depending on the, the router's features. Whereas on the E5573 device, you've got the extras like the Wi-Fi extender, for example. So just to go through these icons with you and let you know what they have in them, the first icon top left hand corner is the battery. Again, that just uh, gives us our battery health, lets us know how much percentage is remaining of the battery. Uh, we do have the option with the E5573 to turn on a power saving mode. So what the device will do if you activate it, it will automatically disconnect from the internet and go into like a sleep mode so it's not continually jogging on that battery conveyor belt. So it'll extend your battery life. Uh, you're welcome to turn that on uh, and that'll help your battery last a bit longer for, for those moments when you're not browsing or using your MiFi device. Again, for those of you who don't want to use that option, you can always just turn your device off when not using it as well. That's another, another way to do it. Back to the home screen and you've got the shortcut indicator in the middle. Um, the shortcut indicator really is just 
four options of things that you may use quite frequently with the app. So things like if you're traveling uh, and, and you're, you're out in different countries, flick that data roaming feature on. If you don't want data roaming, you can leave it off. Uh, things like mobile data, for any reason you want to cut off your data supply completely, that slider is in there as well. You've got your messages, that'll just show you things like message notifications. The MiFi device does have a SIM card in it and you are able to send text messages, which I will show you in a moment. Uh, you can also clear things like your, your data history or your, um, your usage history on the bottom part of the menu there. From the screen as well, you can restart your MiFi device as well as turn it off back to the home screen. So what I mentioned briefly is the SMS feature. As the device does have a SIM card with a mobile number, if you jump into the SMS feature of the Highlink app and you click the add button, that'll add a new message. Uh, you can input the mobile number you would like to send the text message to along with the content of the message. And of course, send that away uh, to friends, family, Nice feature to have. Uh, onto the next would be the Wi-Fi extender option. Very cool option to have, especially with the E5573 device. Uh, we have made a video about this feature before, quite an in-depth video. For those of you who would be interested in that Wi-Fi extender mode, just click, click on the link above me. Uh, that'll take you to a more in-depth video uh, about that extender mode. Really what it is, is it's just uh, a feature on the MiFi device that will extend the range of the original source of Wi-Fi you have. Hypothetically, if you're at home uh, and you're far away from the source of your Wi-Fi and it's not, you're not quite within range, if you turn this feature on and connect to your home Wi-Fi, this will then repeat that Wi-Fi range for you so you can really extend the range of your broadband per se. Um, and it just helps with working outside or streaming music. So the next feature on the uh, Highlink menu is the share option. So this really comes into use between friends or family in a, in a Wi-Fi network and you want to share videos and pictures across the network quite easily. Uh, if you will make sure you've got the Highlink app on your mobile device, then this just helps you pass along that information quite easily and conveniently. So if you go into the share feature of the Highlink app and select a picture you would like to share, Click the select button in the top right hand corner, choose the image you'd like to share. Anyone who is on the network that you'd like to sh share the image or video with will appear on the bottom uh, of the mobile device. Select that person, it'll then want to transfer it to the following mobile device. Uh, that friend or family will have to accept the picture or video and it will automatically download into their photo album. And it's as easy as that really, uh, whether it be a video or a picture that you want to send, straightforward, shares it over the network, straight into their photo file. The last feature on that screen is the scan feature. Uh, nice tool to have, it's really just a QR code scanner. Uh, so if you're out and about and you want to pull up a um, website through the QR code, for example, uh, open that tool, scan the QR co code, and it'll redirect you straight onto the website for yourself. If we go back to the home screen, uh, we're gonna talk a little about what's in the menu of that little blue cog in the top right hand corner. There's a lot of fixes in this blue cog menu as we get quite a bit of queries about things like your APN settings, about data roaming, uh, and quite often uh, customers forget their device password. Uh, it's really, really common questions we get, but really, really simple to, to fix uh, scenarios within this app. So if we go into the menu where the blue cog is, uh, again, we have made a video about APN settings, and if you would like to uh, get a, a real in-depth video about how to change those, again, click on the link above myself, they'll take you straight there, and I'll talk you through exactly how to go into the app on a desktop and change your APN settings. Common uh, misunderstanding is when folks take their devices abroad, um, you really need to enable your data roaming feature on your MiFi device. It's not automatically on, 
it's something that you need to activate to allow your SIM card and service provider to then you know, give you data abroad as there may be charges depending on your plan. So when you go into that blue cog, uh, you get a menu with four options on it. The top one being your Wi-Fi. If you wanna customize or change your Wi-Fi at all, that's the screen to do it. If you wanna change the Wi-Fi name that's broadcast into something that is more customizable for you or something that you will remember more easily, go ahead. You can also change your, your login password over there or you can choose to hide the broadcast of your Wi-Fi. It doesn't mean it switches off, it just means it hides it so that anybody else who's searching for a, a Wi-Fi name won't be able to see it. All you have to do is when you go to sign into your Wi-Fi, you can manually type your Wi-Fi name out and your password and you'll be able to log into your device. That's really it on that screen. So we come out of that, the next option in the menu is the account. Uh, so the first line on this says modify login password. This relates to logging into your MiFi devices menu uh, and settings, not your Wi-Fi password or your Wi-Fi key. It's the admin login to this. So when you first logged in with your Hilink app, your default password was admin. That's what this is referring to. During that three-step process, you've customized that or you had to change that. If you would like to change that again, this is where to do it. Um, so by default, before we've gone through those three steps with these Huawei products, the default login password is generally admin, all in lower case. Uh, when you set them up, you are asked to change that. If you wanna change that again, that's where it is. And if you forget what your password is, whether it's Wi-Fi password or your administration password, if at any stage you forget it, just go straight back to resetting your device, whether it's a router device or a MiFi device, reset it, that'll pull all, all the default settings back into place and um, you can start from scratch again and then customize it how you'd like. With this E5573 device, a simple way to reset is on the back of the device. Over here, uh, you've got your battery and just below it, uh, there's engraving that says reset on it. Uh, with a little button to the left of it. If you hold that in for several seconds, uh, both LED lights on the front of the device will flash green. Uh, when they flash green about two to three times, you know you've reset the device correctly. Then next time you log into the device, it will start you off by uh, asking you just to configure those settings again and you can choose your passwords and Wi-Fi names. Uh, very, very common question we get is folks have not had to log in for a long time, forgotten their passwords, and they don't know what to do. Just reset your device and you're good to go straight from the beginning again. The next option is the network option, and in here, you've got your four customizable uh, network settings. Very quickly through them, you've got your mobile data, your data roaming, your APN settings, and then of course your network carrier. Mobile data obviously is always going to be on in a device like this. If it is off, the device it will, will stop streaming its data. You would use this in scenarios where you want to stop using data. Say you've reached your monthly data plan limit, what we were talking about earlier, and you want to stop using data for the balance of the month, just slide that off, of course, or you can turn the device off as well. The next option, which I mentioned earlier, very important, and we do get a lot of questions about it, is that data roaming feature. It is set to default off. If you are going to travel with your device and you want to get network, uh, if you want to get data abroad, you need to turn this feature on because if you go away overseas with it, it's you, you're not going to be able to receive data. So make sure you go into your device and you turn that feature on. It's, it is harmless to have that on if you're in your home country. Just be aware that if you go abroad, it might incur data charges. But a very common question we get is that the device is not working and I've traveled abroad, that's all you have to turn on to make your device work. APN settings, another big hitter in there. Uh, a lot of questions about these where the device is on, everything looks like it should work, but there's no data coming to the device. There are certain SIM cards that don't download the APN settings correctly onto the MiFi or router device. A very quick Google will pull up uh, some accurate results or a call to your service provider. Just double check your APN settings and then you can change them and save them into that menu. If we go into that setting, you can see I'm, I'm currently on an EE SIM card on 
this mobile phone device so it's automatically saved the APN settings if it was not working or incorrect if you just hit the plus symbol in the top right hand corner you then have your four fields that you need to populate and save the settings and if those are accurate your sim card and your data should work no problemo the last one is just about the network carrier uh, i wouldn't change these settings too much uh, a lot of them are default set to auto change them for your own preferences by all means go ahead but uh, if you if you leave the device to manage these settings on their own generally the device works uh, efficiently and your last option in the menu is the device all this is really going to tell you about is the device itself information of the device your IMEI number your mobile phone number if you want to set a pin code uh, as, a, as a login you can set that as well firmware hardware and software versions um, and if you if you've not got your auto update feature set um, and you want to manually update well of course you jump to online update it'll check for updates and it'll let you know whether there is a version or whether your version is up to date. You can also obviously uh, restart and turn off your device from the screen. And that is it. That pretty much is everything the Hylink app has to offer. Again, it might differ in features depending on what device you're using it with, but just for ease of access, easily checking and changing different features on your mobile device and your router it's all there it's very straightforward and easy to use and i highly recommend it quick download uh, we'll put the the link the download links below in the video that is it thank you very much